I watched the interview. I watched the, um, what you call it? Mark Maron interview. And what I, what I came prepared with is I, so you did, was that a joke that you wrote the Draven? No, no. That's, that's a real thing. That's a real thing. Can we yeah. get into the Draven? Let's make it right now. <laughs> what, what's the Draven? What's the Draven about? Half man, half. Half dragon. man. He was a uh, half man, half dragon. Yeah, exactly. And, why, and, and, why is it Draven? And, and, and he would hunt dragons, and that's what he And it wasn't comedic. It was like a hardcore <laughs> know, fucking fantasy action movie. That's what made me laugh so hard. Which top? What half? Like, was he dragon head, man's body? Or? No, no. He looked just like a. He looked like a good looking dude with just like fucking kind of translucent skin and muscles. You know. <laughs> dude, it just got glossed over. I was like, that was the funniest thing I've ever heard. The Draven. What is the root of the word? Why is it Draven? Yeah, that's what. That's the me and my the guy who wrote it, uh, Ben Best, who's no longer with us. We, uh, yeah, it was right when we first moved out to Los Angeles. We were just trying to like write as much stuff as we could, and we had no sense of what our yeah. voice was going to be or what we were going to try to get into, and. Again, there was a few nights where we worked pretty hardcore on, on a fantasy <laughs> movie called The Draven. But you know what? The script was fucking good, dude. dude. I'm telling you, it sounds fucking sick, dude. I don't want to spoil it, but what happens to The Draven, dude? Well, you know what? It has a pretty dark ending, which is what I liked about it, which <gasps> is that th this is so ridiculous to get into this. But I'm going to pitch the whole fucking thing. Too. Please. Yeah. <laughs> it starts where there's like this kingdom and this dragon fucking rolls in while they're having some celebration, kills all these people, Fuck. and then leaves the prince for dead. Oh. The prince starts to transform oh, yes. into a fucking draven, okay? So oh. he's sort of like, <laughs> he's, he keeps saying draven. He, he a draven. It's like everyone should know. It's like a Dracula, you know? It's like whether it's a dragon, it's a draven. <laughs> So he starts, like a raven he, he starts to be kind of like shunned from <laughs> yeah. uh, from the, yeah. the the people in his kingdom he's because like he's scales. like becoming this fucking creature. Yeah. Meanwhile, there is a, a man who has been a draven for quite some time oh, who yes. comes in and fucking takes the prince under his uh, wing <laughs> and they, they're going to go hunt the dragon that fucked him up and it's like killing the all the villagers and they're going to go kill the kill the dragon. Sounds awesome. And so the man is like teaching this young dude how to like use his draven oh. skills. Now the twist comes in this. You get the backstory <laughs> of the guy who was the original draven and you get that he used to travel with another partner and that partner is dead. And what you find is that draven's always sort of like travel in twos and that's the whole mo the whole movie is about that you're like oh they're traveling in twos and then you don't find out till the very end why they travel in twos when it's time to kill the dragon the only thing that can kill it oh. is a blade with the blood of oh, another draven fuck so they have to fucking fight each other at the end uh and whoever dies their fucking heart coats the blade that's what kills the dragon fuck that's how it, did guys. you not? How did you not make this? That's it. <laughs> so, so the budget is two hundred fifty million dollars. What was awesome too is the movie was written where it was like the young guy. You're thinking it's his movie, yeah, and it's not. The old guy fucking kills him easily, and then kills the dragon, and then goes off to be by himself again. Oh. It's a dark story, man. Yeah, it's very dark dragon material. That's good. Damn, yeah. dude. <laughs> Finally, a dark dragon movie. <laughs> Dude, how how was that not? Did you actually did you ever pitch it? Like we wrote it. We had we had like wrote the whole script. At one point, I was like, maybe I should try to turn this into a comic says? book. It was like a fucking hundred twenty <laughs> pages. It was thick, dude. God, damn. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Well, it's always impressive when someone does comedy and then you hear they're doing like as you were saying, you're doing like you had a time. Didn't you have like a time piece too, like a history piece? We did. We did. Like we were everything we were writing was basically not comedy. We wrote one thing together called most scariest that was about like a frat house that's haunted <laughs> it was just a bunch of frat guys like scared the whole movie and uh yeah that was the only comedic thing we had kind of worked on that's pretty sick and no in in that movie never got made so yeah. that wasn't even worth our time <laughs>